Hello, I'm pleased to have Flavio Guimarez uh, with us today. Flavio is CEO of Radix USA. Welcome, Flavio. Thanks, Peter. So, industrial Internet of Things, digital transformation, common buzzwords that we hear all across the, the industry. What is really different today? What's happening in, in the industry? Why are so many people talking about, about these things? So that there are new technologies that uh, really bring an impact to the business everywhere in the world. And the thing is that we see this as a reality today. Uh, so we have already some solutions uh, uh, taking place in some customers and that are really bringing value to their business and reducing the costs and uh, improving the profit margins here. Yeah. So it's really a reality, not only buzzwords, but it, it sure works. Yeah. Right, yeah. So th there's um, business transformation. You know, companies have had business transformation programs, uh, uh, optimization, uh, digital transformation. What, is this, uh, what does this really mean to an, an organization? And what, do you, what does this mean to Radix? Yeah, we see that's uh, to take advantage of the, the new technologies and adapt them to the current challenges of, uh, of our customers. So we, we, for instance, we have a solutions that can combine all these new different technologies. So we have, we're talking about IoT in order to have data from everywhere. So today it's really uh, easier to, to get access to this data. But then you have to have the capability to store and analyze this data and start to doing some analytics. So the, the technology is not sometimes not so brand new because all this statistical and uh, analytical uh, math, the, the, the background is, uh, is known for a lot of people, but the capability to process this huge amount of data, I believe it's the major difference today. And then when you understand the, the business and you understand the tools, you can extract valuable information for this big amount of data. Because what we see today is a lot of people has a lot of data, but how to extract the information that will change your business, that will impact your business, this is the, the main challenge today. Mm, interesting, thank you, yeah. So the drivers and the opportunities seem, seem quite, uh, quite real, but companies are also experiencing uh, real challenges. Um, so what are the challenges companies uh, are facing and, and can you tell me about the characteristics of any of those companies that are leading the pack? Yeah, the challenges, I, I would say that um, there is all this um, uh, frisson to, to use the technology. So there's a kind of a, people feel that uh, if I will not use this, if I will not apply this to my business, I will be behind my competitors. So, but you have to structure yourself. You have to have the, to have the right team. It's not only the data scientists, you have to have the um, people talking to each other. I see that the major collaboration among the different teams inside an organization. So you have to have operations, talking to the data scientists, talking to the engineers. And I would say that the, the challenge is much more cultural than technological. That, that's what, what we are seeing today. And, and that's what we are working with our customers in order to uh, enable this uh, interaction among the different parts of the organizations. And uh, when this happens, the, the, the technology part is easier to, to accomplish. I would say that's a major cultural barrier that the, the companies are facing. And I, I see that in, in um, oil and gas industry, chemical industry, uh, have equipment industry. So we, we see this everywhere. It's a much more cultural challenge than a technological challenge. Mm, okay, so strategy and execution are gonna be really important for these, uh, these companies. So what, will you, what do you think will be main uh, or predominant focus areas for these organizations? See that to, to organize themselves in order to extract the most valuable from the data. We see that we, we see in some industries that there is a, a rush to implement this but sometimes the business case is not even clear to them. So we have to have sensors, we have to have devices, we have to have analytics, but for what? Mm -hmm. So I believe that to, to answer the main questions, and I believe uh, in a company like uh, us, uh, I see that we play an important role to make the right questions. We, ha we have to understand the, the business, make the right questions, and then show to the customers how can they get to the, to the results they are willing with this, with this amount of data. So 
we see this because we have a, a, a really strong engineering background. And so when you go for a life cycle of engineering project, you have the conceptual phase, the basic phase, and then the front end engineer, and then the detailing. And I see that sometimes these digital projects lack this life cycle that has to be considered in order to what kind of answers that I, I would like to, to, to have to my challenges. And this is starting the conceptual phase. So I say in this, all this rush and all, all this hurry sometimes uh, disturb this process. And then you, you make the investment, you buy the solutions, you buy the technology, but uh, you, you do not get the value in the end. So I feel this, this uh, think about what you want, do the conceptual ideas, and then start to, to design and then implement. So I, I think th this strategy is merge the, the classical engineering approach with the digital technology, something that re will really help okay. uh, everyone. Now, fi now finally, for, for Radix uh, in the US, how are you helping uh, companies move forward in these areas? You know, indeed, we have uh, uh, companies in several different segments today, um, not only on gas and chemicals, that was the main reason that we came to US, but also in uh, pulp and paper and uh, transportation. And, and we are supporting them. Everyone now has a lot of uh, uh, data available. So we are supporting them with our expertise in these specific areas to analyze, understand the meaning of the data and extracting this value, but also working together with their teams to kind of uh, educate them and the teams with the new technologies, you know, that, uh, that once everyone sees the value, it will be much easier to, to accomplish. So it's not only a um, matter of uh, technical solutions, but uh, also behavior. So we are, we are helping in the change management process and also enabling all these technologies to, to, to bring the value. Mm, okay. Well, Flavio, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. We'll be looking forward to watching the developments of uh, Radix in the, in the near future. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. We've been speaking with Flavio Gimerez. Flavio is CEO of Radix USA. Thanks for watching. <laughs>